Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Got a huge goose hunt planned for today. We still got Federal in town. We got Lucky, Dan, Ryan, and Rick. There's only four of them. Went to Flint Oak. Now we're here for a huge goose hunt. This is going to be their last hunt of the trip and they leave tomorrow. But this video is either going up the day before Thanksgiving or on Thanksgiving. If so, happy Thanksgiving. I want to tell you guys, at Ducks Waterfowl, our Black Friday sale starts today on Thanksgiving Day. Today is 20% off all of our shirts. So like the Fred shirt, this shirt right here. Oh yeah, 20% off the Frederick shirt. If you guys miss them as much as I do, you might want to pick you one up before they're all gone. And then let me just go through some of the sales here. The Black Friday sale is 20% off hats. Saturday is 20% off hoodies. Sunday is 20% off the duck and goose calls. Don't miss these sales, y'all. There won't be another one as big as it. What are you doing? Oh, what you, hey. <laughs> Weenie on a stick in the morning. Mm -hmm. you, you look fabulous today. Fat? That's rude. No, I said fabulous. Oh, my, <laughs> my ears aren't working yet. But the Black Friday sale is a popping. It's a happening. I'll link everything down in the description below. Hats, hoodies, you know the deal. What are you doing here, stranger? Oh, not much. We got the whole crew today. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a big one. That's good. <laughs> You're like, yeah, Bob, just leave me alone. I'm tired. <laughs> Back of the Federal van here. They brought us some goodies. Let me tell you what. Oh, whoa, 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 good morning, whoa, 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 Rick. Good morning. Good morning. What do you good got morning. there? Yeah, that's a contraption. That's a new rig going. <laughs> morning. morning. Morning, Ryan. You guys sleep okay? Oh, yeah. Wasn't bad? Nope. Yeah! We got Preston behind the lens. Uh, Y'all have been loving the Preston footage. Big shout out to Preston. If you have not followed him on Instagram, do so right here. But long story short, um, I've had a lot of a lot of kids, a lot of young kids, uh, talk to me and ask me, "Hey, Bobby, how do I become a uh, an, an outfitter, a guide? How, you know, how do I get my foot in the door um, in a guide service? Because I want to be a, a professional outfitter. You know what I mean? So today, Preston had a great idea. He was like, "Bob, just let me film." Let me sit between you and Gerald. I'm not shooting today. Me and Gerald are not shooting. We're just blowing our calls and calling the shot and picking up birds and running dogs. Sitting decoys, fixing decoys according to the wind, whatever. So today, you're just gonna get uh, a lot of big camera, all big camera actually, working birds, calling, why we're doing what we're doing, uh, why we're sitting the spread a certain way, in the dark, picking up, maybe some of our pro tips on picking up and how it makes it a little easier. Uh, basically a 20 minute video, just about tips. That I mean, honestly, big goose filled tips today. Today we're gonna sit 150 dozen. Uh, we're laying in white. We're gonna have the dark uh, dive bomb silos in front of us. So a lot to take home from this video today. Big shout out to Preston again for, for coming up with this idea. But let's get to the field. And let's get started. By the way, if you guys want to help support the channel, head down to the description. All the white gear from Ducks is available. Go pick you something up. Plus a new goose call, which I will be chirping on all day today. It's in stock again. So that's what's up. Well, it's always something. You gotta, uh, Oh, little uh, pro tip, first pro tip of the day. When you pick up socks, pick them up in a handful and then break the back down. So they go in there so when you come the next day, you can grab that handful. And you're not picking one at a time and putting them together. It saves so much time on these big spreads um, just because you're not sorting them all out. And another thing, I've had a lot of people say, Bob, well, we always got to sit all these decoys up here in Minnesota. We get it done with 10 dozen. Well, we're not dealing with honkers. These are lessers. And uh, these roosts that are coming at us might be, you know, 10,000, 15,000 birds for two hours that we're trying to 
persuade. So big, big spreads. That's the only way to uh, trick that many eyes. Well, I'll sit down. Uh, got all the clients in their chairs, and uh, man, it's a beautiful little sit. We're really hoping some ducks show up today uh, here in Kansas. Man, it seems like it's either going to be raining, uh, cloudy, spitting, some type of moisture situation for them to fly in the mornings. They're always just dry feeding in the evening. So hopefully we're uh, praying for some ducks. But if not. Uh, the snows and, a less, and the lessers were abundant in this field. So today we're sitting out here in a, a wheat, wheat, a bean field that's planted in wheat. There's been several thousand lessers and specks and snows in here. And then uh, there's a big duck roost too and a duck feed just, to, just across the road from us. So we're hoping some of them ducks show up this morning, but it's pretty nice out. So I don't see them really doing too much, but we can always hope. And then uh, we got a good wind today. So we're hoping that, you know, if the ducks don't show up, we're playing with a bunch of geese. Here's the spread, dark cellos in front, two, two, two lucky ducks just to get in it, and we're in back. Hello, fellas. Shoot him, guys. Stay, stay, back. guys nice shot Woo, shoot him guys Woo, I just got that one on the old camera uh, if you haven't followed us follow us at Sandhill Flyway on uh, Instagram Every hunt, we're just giving updates. It's like the news, you know. It's like Sports Center. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. You get these updates on the hunts, how they're going. All the, uh, all the backstage footage, per se, is on there. So, give us a follow. Shoot the two guys. Try the ones on the right. Oh, he's hit! Oh! So the lesser Canada's, um, you can hear me and Gerald will lip, 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 uh, lip, uh, lip, and just go back and forth because what it does, you get to work them birds can sit like steadily, just constant sound, crisp sound without having to go, blah, 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 you know, and it, um, it saves on our breath. So just repeating each other, just taking turns back and forth, it keeps a constant sound. That is what's key is to just get a crisp cluck and just share it so you can go for a long time. can see that but it is a worn lesser band right there that is a uh, that's a treat a lot of you guys up north you guys shoot a lot of honker bands but these bad boys right here look how big that foot is special lesser bands they're uh, far and few between we're gonna let the guys draw on this one aren't we oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah what's your so well, this is what I like to do what's your guess on age on age none of a Canada 10 10 years old none of a Canada I've, I think you hit it on the head. I don't think I'm going to disagree with that one. <laughs> <laughs>
But at the end, we're going to do a big draw for it. The clients are going to draw, and uh, we'll see who wins. Well, Gerald just looked up the info on this bird. <laughs> we're going to have the clients guess the age real quick. I want everybody to get a regular draw for it. Oh, you want everybody here. Uh, but I want everybody to guess how old it is. Four. Four. Eight. Seven. Ten. Six. Nine. Go ahead and look at the band. Go ahead and check out the band. Five. Oh yeah, I'm sticking with nine. You sticking with nine? What are you getting? Five? What are you guessing? Four. Four. Seven. Okay. Sixteen years old. Sixteen is divisible by four. So he's closest. Yeah. You win. That's fun. <laughs> Oh, you guys did some work today. I am not gonna lie. That was good shooting. Look at first, Jackson. So here we have the spread guys. This morning I originally said 130 to 150 dozen. Me and Gerald were talking about it and I only think we put out a roughly probably 70 dozen of the snows. But as you can see the silhouettes in front there at our feet uh, with all this wind we had to, we had to stab them extremely deep. They, they got to go all the way in all the way belly to the floor so they don't slap back and forth. But we always try to go really wide and uh, put the, the white upwind. Snows always like to be dominant and feed into the wind. Basically, they want to be at the front of the pack to get the first food on the ground. They don't want to be at the end. They're real selfish birds, let me tell you. It should be. Well, back home. Woo! And your boy's tired. It's actually. Come on, Fred. Look at that limp. Look at it. That limp still hasn't went away yet. It's not going to just go away either. Um, I have a big video coming uh, with a lot of updates on Fred, his health condition, where he stands, and my plans, my big plans to try to make him better. And um, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it too much because I really don't have every thing, you know, like every plan really ironed out. So still waiting on some doctor's information and uh, still waiting on a university to get back to me. So really going in on Fred, gonna try to get him better. On a second note, I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed the big camera footage today. That is Preston's big camera footage. He actually whipped up the whole hunt portion. Uh, we thought it'd be really cool to just kind of show you guys what the guiding operation's all about in the field. But out of the field, here back home, Come on, Fred, here. Let's go, buddy. Come on, inside. Here back at home, the guiding operation is just as much as an operation as it is in the field. Keeping this lodge clean, it's a chore. It's a chore, especially every three days we get um, clients in, clients out. So a uh, big shout out to my wife. She has been in here every single morning, her and Bodie, cleaning their little hearts out just just cleaning away uh thank you honey you've been you've been amazing she is the queen of this lodge and she takes care of it very well uh on top of that i hope i really hit on some good tips from today's hunt why the spread was set the way it was uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the drone action drop a comment down below right now if you enjoyed the drone footage of the spread and me kind of just 
describing it. You know what I'm saying? Because if you did enjoy it, I'll do it more often. Uh, I think it's really cool. It looks cool. It actually allows Gerald and I to really look at the spread and see what may, may not have looked good. You know what I mean? That's number one. Number two, just uh, I want to uh, just give you guys my two cents. There, there's a lot of a lot of young guys. That's the first thing I said in this video. A lot of young guys wanting to get into guiding and make it a career. Um, two things. First of all, if you're going to do it, do it. You can't half, you know what, do it. You can't, you can't give 50%. You can't, you can't give a hundred percent. You got to give 110% all the time, every day, uh, at four in the morning, every day till, you know, whatever time I'm out here at night with the clients. So that's, that's one thing. Uh, and another thing, there's two ways to do this. <clears throat> one thing, uh, it makes life a lot easier when you don't have a lodge that you have to clean, take care of, do laundry, do dishes, cook, change bed sheets every three days, the whole nine yards, sweep them up uh, when your clients just get to stay in a hotel. That's easy, but you don't get to provide this. This, this lodge, doing this, uh, it's a lot of work, ton of work, ton of work. 24 seven, it takes a team, it takes a crew. So I guess what I'm just trying to, trying to get at, um, if you're gonna do something, do it. Do it right, go all in, uh, give 110%. If, if it doesn't work out, you, you try, and you tried your, your darndest. That was my theory going into this. I was like, you know what, I don't, I know what to expect, but I don't. I'm just gonna give it my all, and here we are. It's really working out. Oh, Freddy Ricky though. Every time I whip the camera at you, you just gotta move towards me. Look, what you miss me or what, dude? Huh? That little lamp. That little lamp. But I would, on top of the tips, I would say, um, if you don't, if you don't like being muddy, dirty, bloody, cleaning birds, um, I don't know, getting up early, early, early every day, then guiding's not for you. Guiding's not for you. If you truly love hunting. And, and to the core, you, you really got to um, put yourself out there and just do it for the client. You know, it, it, at this point, it's providing for them, not me. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. I know you guys are missing the small hunts. Uh, I got a few planned here. I'm going gonna, gonna to take the wife hunting. So be expecting a couple good videos. The Fred update video, big one. And then I'm taking the wife duck hunting. Oh, yes. Federal, they were just in, they just left. So glad they came, it was so nice having them. Rick, Dan, y'all are awesome. Thank you guys for coming. But like I said, the Black Friday sale starts today on Thanksgiving, y'all. Four days of non-stop sales, do not miss it. I will link hoodies, hats, everything down in the description below. But thank you guys for being here. This is my dream. I'm living it. I'm tired. I'm worn out. My legs today from yesterday's morning hunt are, are just jello. It was the stickiest mud that you can imagine. Um, just be looking out for some really good, uh, good hunts to come. I got a pheasant hunt coming that's already done. So thank you all for being here yet again. I know I already said that. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell down there because it will notify you when your boy uploads. But until next time, happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Enjoy some time with the old family. And friends. I've been getting laid back. Baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that